the receptacle. You're gonna need that you want to match your Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Carly. Today we are at the famous Home Depot because I've ran into a very common issue in my own house. So we want to surface mount a TV in our bedroom, but there's no plug up high. So I'm going to show you guys how to add a plug up high, how the electricians do it, in hopes that this video will help you out and maybe save you a couple hundred dollars. So this is where we're planning on putting a TV. So we have this receptacle down low and then what we want to do is add one up high here. All right, first let's go over everything you're going to need for this install. You're going to need a tape measure of any kind, a box, an electrical box of some sort. This is my recommendation. It's an easy box. You can also go with a simple plastic box or another type of metal box, but you will need to hit exactly on a stud, which is why I recommend um, the Easy Box. You will need a receptacle and a plate. Both of these are from Pass and Seymour. It's the brand I recommend, but any brand will do. A knife, a basic pair of strippers, tape, and a green Robbie screwdriver or drill bit. I also have my plug tester here so that I can confirm that the power that I will be fishing from is off. Just from my experience roughing in houses, I am 99% sure that the stud is right here. <laughs> if we aim to put our box um, a little bit more than the measurement of this box, we will be landing in between studs, which is exactly what we want. We don't want to be exactly against the stud with this box. We want to be in between studs. So the first thing I'm going to do is run downstairs and kill the power to this plug that we will be fishing from. So I grabbed my apprentice because my bedroom is on the third floor and my panel's all the way in the garage. And my panel is actually pretty well labeled. So when I get the right breaker, I should see this in the monitor go off. You can also use your kids. If you have kids, make them your apprentice. They'll yell at you when the light goes off. I am going to take a gander and say that it is this breaker. So let's go back upstairs. All right, so now that the power is killed to the receptacle, let's pull this plug apart. A lot of you guys are gonna pull apart your receptacle and you're going to see both wires going to each screw of the receptacle. Um, this plug was done correctly here because as you can see, they spliced the wires together with a pigtail going to the receptacle. Unfortunately, in a lot of cases, the receptacle is being used as the splice. So what happens is power is going to come into one screw, go through the device, and then come out the other screw. Right, Yeti? Which um, can cause a lot of faults because if the device fails, all of a sudden half your receptacles are going to stop working. So when you are doing this, please keep in mind that if you see the receptacle done incorrectly, it's important to change it, splice those wires together and have a single pigtail coming out to the receptacle instead. Next thing we want to do is confirm which side the stud is on for the box. Um, I'm 99% sure the stud is right here. You can grab a stud finder if you want or what I like to do is just stick my screwdriver in and you should be able to tell right away if you're hitting a stud or not. And like I said, we're gonna wanna be in between this stud and the next stud over for our box. Grab your tape measure. Let's measure to a common point, find our stud. So this stud is at 30 and a half. We're gonna measure over up high where you want your receptacle to be. So this stud is at 30 and a half. So there's our first stud mark. Figure out the height that you wanna mount your TV. And I would recommend buying the mount before you do this so that you can see where the mount um, covers so that your receptacle isn't behind the mount. Once you figure out exactly where you want your plug to go, we're gonna grab our easy box and we're gonna mark out on the wall what we need to cut out. We 
so I have plastic boxes in my house. Make one of the tabs in the top of this box so that we can fish up to our hole. I always like to give her a shot with just the wire first. Um, you can pull some fish sticks out, but a lot of the time in an empty wall, this will be just fine. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that wire. There we go. Next, I'm gonna cut the wire to length and we're gonna grab our knife and strip this wire, score it down the center. Now that our wire is stripped, we're gonna splice in our bond, our neutral and our hot wire into the morettes. To strip the wire, I take the 14 gauge um, solid hole and you're just gonna place it around there, give her a little wiggle and it will nicely strip the wire for you or score the wire for you. When you're securing the moret, you wanna make sure that it is nice and tight. You can go ahead and give your wires a pull to confirm that. And the most important thing you should know when you're putting a receptacle on is you do not want this bond wire to touch the hot screw. Um, otherwise, it will short out on you. So now it is time to put the easy box on. Here's our easy box. How this works is these little tabs press in and then you are able to get the box in there. And then when you screw the easy box, you screw in these screws here, it is going to come up like so and tighten and it will pinch inside of the drywall. So we stripped this wire the same way that we stripped the other one. Now we are going to break off one of these tabs in the back here. Push your wire through the hole. It's important that some of the insulation comes through the box. You don't want any of the wires sticking outside of the box. But before we go ahead and screw this bracket down that pinches the wire into the box and secures it, we're gonna wanna get the box into the wall. So when we screw these screws in, that metal bracket is coming towards us. So it is pinching between the um, drywall. I usually put this one down as well to give myself more room because this is a tight box. Because this is a metal box, it's not a plastic box, we do have to bond the box and you're going to wrap the bond wire in the direction that the screw tightens. So as you are tightening, it will wrap it around the screw further instead of doing the opposite. We're going to place this bond wire onto the left side of our box because that's where the bond screw is on the receptacle. Our neutral on that side and our hot is on this side. So let's strip these wires and put the receptacle on. I usually do a stripper's length from the back of the box. Now we are going to be using the little hole in our strippers to curl all of the wires. These will be wrapping around the screws of the receptacle in the direction that the screw tightens. Tighten it just snug. And then we also want to screw in our extra screws that aren't being used. Like I said, it's just common practice. It doesn't change the way that these receptacles work, but it's nice to get them out of the way. Next step after you have the terminals done is tape. Because this receptacle is inside of a metal box, the box is conductive. So if any of these screws here, if this hot screw here touches this box, it's gonna blow up on you. After you've done that, let's screw the receptacle in, put our cover plate on, and power up this circuit. Oh, I forgot. A little tip when you're using an easy box is to break off these little tabs on the receptacle. If you break these tabs off, your plug will sit nice and flush to the wall. And the reason I used crayon here is because you can remove it with a wipe or a magic eraser, so. Alright, let's hit our breaker back, our breaker back on. And there you guys go. 
a receptacle up high for your television. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot more beginner how-to videos and advanced how-to videos. Stay tuned for all of that and let me know in the comments what video you would like to see next.